In this video, I will show and explain how to apply material properties for daylight simulation with the Revit model. For this, there is some limitation and stuff you should be aware of before you get started on the daylight simulations. In other videos, I have shown how to run the simulation and set up sheets and so on, and how to apply properties for glazing. In this video it's about the opaque materials. To access the material library we can go to manage materials, search for that material we want to look at. In this case I will look at a plywood sheeting for the walls. The identity and graphics doesn't have any influence on the daylight simulation as well as the physical and thermal assets. The only one that have any influence is the appearance. Depending on which kind of material it is, there is different undergroups or subcategories here with different information and properties. But for this specific one, there is a generic one. We have, as always, information and the generic information about the color. If we don't use an image, then this color will be the, the one that creates the reflectance. If we have a material, in this case this one, if I select it, then it will take an average of the color values in RGB colors. And in this case it can be difficult to say what is the reflectance for this material. But if we instead had used the artificial material from this list, let's say wood, then we have the two colors that we can specify and then we know or we could calculate the average of the reflectance by looking at these numbers. For this I have created a spreadsheet that explain and show what kind of percent of reflectance a certain color have. In this spreadsheet there is a link below this video to this one under the tab of reflectivity of opaque materials there is a list of different reflectivity in relation to the RGB colors red, green and blue and if we want something that is let's say around 60% 59 in this case we should use a red color of 150 the same for the green, green and blue and when we use same number it is a grayscale color if we instead want to use a colored material there's another tab here that can calculate reflectivity by just entering the different RGB colors. So in this case, with this combination of red, green and blue, it gives 69. And as I showed just before, if we have a material with two colors, then we can calculate the average of those two materials by entering the RGB colors twice, as shown here. But in this example, we want to create a material that's around 60% of reflectivity. Back in Revit, I will click on the color and type the different values in. And that was 150. And we will see in the end here that it will create a gray colored material. And in this case, if we just use the color, then we should remove this one, remove the wood, so we have this color. All the other stuff down here also have a, a little influence on the reflectance, but especially this one, reflectivity, it's not the same as I've been talking about here. This one is referring to the spe specular reflectivity, which means non-diffuse or mirror-like reflectivity. So let's say the direct, it's written here, it's about reflectance that directly facing the camera or the eye and the other one is about reflects when the angle to the camera is not direct. So this is something to do with the roughness of the material so to say but to keep it simple uncheck this one then it will just be a, a made material that's not that reflecting for the average. So keep it simple in the beginning. And before we taking the next step, 
we should duplicate this one so we don't mess everything up and then rename it of course under information call it plywood gray with around 59% of reflectance so we know what this material does and then we can press apply in this case it al already applied to this material but if not we could select the material or the object and go in and change that material specific for this one so by selecting the object edit type and in this case when it's a construction under structure and then selecting this other materials from the material library so in this case having it selected press OK it will change OK and then it will change to this new material in other videos I have shown how to simulate and specify glaze materials 